Folder Monitor is a great way to easily upload files stored on your computer to your Lab Archives notebook. You can make changes to the files and they will automatically update in Lab Archives. You can also make changes to these files offline and have them update when you are next connected to the internet. Folder Monitor can also be used to upload data from equipment in the lab. Folder Monitor is a download application available at the triple dot menu. Hover over Downloads and then select Folder Monitor. Folder Monitor is available for both Windows and Mac. Be sure that you are downloading the correct version for your computer. In this video, we will be using the Mac version. The functionality is the same in the Windows version. When you open the program for the first time, you will be prompted to log in with your Lab Archives username and password. If you're using Folder Monitor in Australia, New Zealand, or the UK, please change the service URL to reflect your server. If you are using a single sign-on system at your organization, you will need to use a password token. To learn more about password tokens, please see the knowledge base. Folder Monitor will upload files according to upload rules that you create. An upload rule allows you to identify a folder on your computer that will be monitored, along with criteria like file type and a location within your Lab Archives account where the files will be sent. To create an upload rule, select Add Rule at the top of the page. Name your rule in the description field. Then select a source folder. The file filters selection allows you to set the criteria for the type of files to upload. By default, the filter will be set to all files. To see more options, click this filter icon. This will open the file filter selection box. You can select one or more options from the list. You can also add your own filter to specify a file extension not on this list. Just be sure to put a period before the extension, for example, .cmbd. In addition, you can add a file name pattern so that all files named with a certain string of text will be uploaded. The next step is to specify your preference for handling subfolders in the local source folder you selected. Use exclude when you want to upload only the files in your source folder and ignore the subfolders completely. The combine option should be used when you want to combine all files in your local source folder and its subfolders and upload these as a group to a notebook. Map should be used when you want the folder structure in your local source folder mirrored in your Lab Archives notebook. With this option, folders and subfolders will be created in the designated notebook following the same structure and naming convention used in your local source folder. Now it's time to specify where you want to upload the files. The LA destination field allows you to specify the Lab Archives notebook for the uploaded files. Click the select folder icon to open the Lab Archives target folder menu. Here you will see the notebooks available in your account. You can click the triangle icon next to a notebook to browse the folder hierarchy and select the folder that you would like to use. Click OK to complete the selection. Next, you will need to specify whether or not you would like to create daily pages. If you choose yes, a new page will be created for each new day files are uploaded. Daily pages are a great choice if you're constantly uploading new files and would like to organize them by date. If you choose no, the uploaded files will accumulate on a single page until you reach the maximum number of entries per page. As you can see, the next step is to specify the max entries per page. The default number is 20. When the maximum number of files is met for a page, a new page is created for additional files. Then you can click OK to save your upload rule. When you create a new rule, Folder Monitor will look for files that match the filter criteria. The New Files Found window will appear and you will have the options to exclude files and approve the upload. 
The source folder is constantly being monitored, but you will only need to approve the files to be uploaded when the rule is first created or if you are reconnecting to folder monitor. Now you will see your newly created rule in the main folder monitor window. A menu of options to manage your rules can be found along the top of the folder monitor window. To enable these options, select a rule. You can use folder monitor in several ways. You may want to create one upload rule and have all files uploaded using the folder structure on your computer as a guide, or you could also create several upload rules as seen here. Files will be uploaded according to the order the rules are on this list, and you can adjust the position of the rules by selecting to move up or down. For more information on Folder Monitor and other tools available with Lab Archives, please check out our knowledge base. You can access our knowledge base by clicking the help icon and selecting knowledge base. And of course, if you have any questions, please email us at support at labarchives.com. To subscribe to our videos, click the Lab Archives logo on the left. For additional training videos, click on the link to the right.